everybody, welcome back to Detective Pikachu. Roll the case, right, Pikachu? Great Detective Coffee Note number one. Here's some wisdom about coffee. I was expecting a little bit more. Good coffee tastes good, a bit even more, cold. You know, motivational. Bad coffee tastes bad, even freshly brewed. Thank you for those words of wisdom, Pikachu. Anyway, let's go to this. Well, very cute temple. Yeah, that's quite a hack. Hey Tim, there are lots of Pokemon here. I've never seen the city. Yeah, same here. Is that Ursa Ring we saw outside? It isn't native to this area. Maybe you came here looking for food. So where's this Gordon anyway? Huh? Looks like someone's here. Oh, that's uh hmm. Oh, what are you doing here? It's Chris Honor. Okay. Oh, a bunch of likes. Cute. Yes. Sorry to interrupt you during your work, Chris. Uh, my name is Rachel. This is Tim. I was a student of the Professor Gordon. Is it Tim here? Also, it has Rhyme University. Oh, your students. What brought you all the way out here? Oh, well, there's something that I wanted to ask uh, Gordon about. Uh, I've been talking to him. The uh, professor? Oh dear. I'm afraid he's fucking dead. He entered the ruins two days ago. Oh, well, as you can see, he hasn't come back yet. Uh huh? Whoa, what are you saying? Oh, uh, the professor always like this. He absolutely obsessed with his research in the ruins. I'm pretty sure he's deep inside by now as part of Slowpoke. As much as I could check on him, there's some kind of trick to open the door to the ruins. You have to tip, trip is some sort of mechanism to open it, but I can't figure it out. He usually makes it back without an issue. I'm sure he's fine. Hey, hey. If the case you haven't noticed, it's freezing. Can you really afford to be carefree about this? Huh. I guess I'm going to have to figure out how to use the mechanism when you see Gordon. Okay, Chris, we'll go look for Professor with Slowpoke. You? I'm sure that's the best idea. Don't worry, Tim and, Tim and Pikachu are detectives. Famous all over the Rhyme City. Oh, you're that Tim. The great detective in the case. In that case. Oh, I'm at a loss of words. Uh, okay, I'll leave search for Professor with Slowpoke to you. Don't push yourself too hard. Right, let's go investigate the entrance to the ruins. I won't be much help if I'm looking at the same things. There you are. I'll go look around the perimeter of the ruins. Thanks. Okay, let's start investigating that entrance. It's got cloth fables. Oh shit, look. This is one of those things we need. Twadloon. It's a Swadloon. Looks like it didn't come home because it's too cold to move. Get it close. So I learned it looks happier now. It doesn't, it's not dressed though. Now you get back to Levity, right? It seems worried about you. You should hurry on home, okay? So I learned why, why even bother with the whole here's clothes thing if we don't get to like see the difference? Oh, there's Elder Gloss here. Hey, Elder Gloss. It's Elder Gloss. Pretty fluffy. Elder Gloss. The impressive amount of fluff. Elder Gloss got the be the answer to that quiz. Alright, then let's head back and tell him the answer. Oh, really? Oh, I forgot about that. Right, we go this way, too. Another berry. Mm -hmm. Let me see. <gasps> the Pacibian. Whoa, a Pacidian was in the tree. Maybe. Oh, we woke up, woke you up from a nap. Sorry about that. It's been noisy around here lately because of all the strange visitors. Talking about Professor and Chris? Maybe it's asking for more details. Ass. Pass. The ruins. It's saying it's seen humans around here recently. Recently? There was no humans here before. 
who was used to live here a long time ago, but now they're a rare sight. They only, they only know humans that lived here because of what his grandfather told him. Huh. If humans once lived here, then it must be a really long time ago. Well, it depends on how long that purple lives, I guess. How are you? You live here? Sammy? Apparently, a cinnamon and his troop lived here a long time. It says they never have to worry about food because so many berries around here. These places live, I guess. Great, I wonder if these berries will be important. The berries grow here. There's gotta be scorching berries. There's berries everywhere. Like, there's tons of different berry trees, and they're all different berries. I wonder if there is some sort of a puzzle to do with this as well. Those are Korma berries. Looks like it appears to be Chris's partner. Ask you anything, huh? Don't mind if we do. Hey. What's the Gordon's partner, Slowpoke, like? But, but. Says Slowpoke is, is a big man. Must be Professor Gordon. Slowpoke's really nice. He sometimes lets you eat his tail. And his tail is sweet and delicious. He's Slowpoke pretty generous. What the fuck? That's disgusting. Hey. What are you doing here? Watch, watch. He says he's helping Chris. Some sort of help you do. Watch, watch. Your job is to eat lots, eat a lot so there's no leftovers at the end of the day. Looks like he's just a gun. Mm. Yeah, that was super useful. Hey, good Tim. Hey, good Tim. Yeah, just let me know. See if you, I can do to help. Excuse me. What are you doing here, Chris? I'm, I'm helping with the professor's research. I told you that already. I set up camp, search around the outside of the ruins, you know, stuff like that. It's not uncommon for me to lose contact with a professor like this. But if I stop working just because he disappeared, I get in trouble with him later. Sounds pretty rough. Oh, I'm used to it by now. All I can do is look at the moment I cook up and curry away from him. There's so many berry berries growing around here, it's a great chance to try out different flavors. I'm not sure if the professor's too independent or if this guy's too easy going. But either way, he seems to make a good pair. Yes. The professor has several assistants, but I heard Chris is the most skilled. It's, you can't even figure out how to open the door to the ruins, it must be pretty difficult. I believe in you, Tim. Now, I'll figure out the trick to opening the door. Now, let's figure out the trip to open the door so we can go see the professor. Okay, hold on. Let me go tell the quiz master about the Elder Gloss. Hold on, Pika. Yo. Identified the fluffiest flutter around? Yes, Elder Gloss. Yes, that's correct. Did you just want to give, give it a big hug? By the way, Elder Gloss's card is used as material. Oh, oh, climbing. That's interesting. And not only that, its seeds attached to its cotton are highly nutritious for Pokemon. It's really amazing Pokemon. Not only cute, but helpful as well. Uh, cute and helpful. Is there anything it can do? The daily lives are really improved by so many different Pokemon helping us. Well, that's it for today's quiz. Hope you're looking forward to next time we meet. Man, she's going to be like a murderer in the end, isn't she? I got a feeling we're going to keep running down. She is totally going to be like a murderer later on. 100%. 100%. Okay, so there's a switch here. Okay, let's take a good look. Close look and figure out what sort of mechanism was working with. You ever have to miss any details? Yeah, I know. Hmm. All right. So we got we got the front door right here. There's some sort of picture on the door. Yeah, it must be some kind of yeah, it must be some kind of relief. Hmm. Looks like a person holding up a Pokemon. Yeah, it does. Yeah. It's a clue about the mechanism. Perhaps. There's some footprints on this tree. 
faint, but I see footprints in this tree. Hmm, judging by the shape, I say these are human. Though, I'm not sure if they're gardens, though. Promised to climb the tree, but why would they do that? Get up here? Mm -hmm. The snow piled up above the door. Looks like quite a lot has fallen. Hmm. We did hear that it was snowing for several days straight. I hope we figure out what caused that. Hmm. Little pictures here. Hand in hand, plus this thing down here. There's a tile here, it's got a design carved into it. Hmm, what do you suppose the design means? I have no idea, I'm not an archaeologist. Fair enough. Um, it might have meant something to Gordon, though. Hmm, I wonder. Okay. Yeah, that's about everything. Yeah, I think we've seen enough. Investigating ancient ruins feels like a real adventure, doesn't it? Sure. We looked around the door, but we still don't know how to open it. Looks like Chris was right. It won't open unless we activate some sort of mechanism. Hmm. The mechanism. The me What's the mechanism to get this door open? Even after investigating the area, we still can't figure that out. It makes sense. We're not. This, we're not archaeology experts, after all. I think we should use our own methods to solve this. What do you mean? Our detective skills, you know, consider con conducting investigations, interviewing witnesses, and all that jazz. Chris might know more about the ruins. And maybe someone saw Gordon open the door. But who? Are going to live here? Exactly. Let's go interview them and see if we can find them some clues. Yeah, I think we just stand on the platform and hold him above our head. But mm. sure. So thank you wanted to ask. Oh, Professor Gordon. Excuse me. You tell us what happened before? Sure. Before we entered the ruins, we spent a lot of time wandering around the near the entrance. Shortly after, when we saw it. It's not his voice, but it's too late now. When I looked over, the door of the ruins had closed. Have any idea what happened? Not really. I was busy meeting Curry at the time, so I didn't actually see the door close shut. Gotcha. What? Hey, Munchlax. Is it true that you eat your own weight in food every day? Munch, Munchlax. <laughs> Must be hard on Chris. Munch. Hey, about Professor Gordon. Hey, hey, do you know what 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 Gordon was doing when he entered the ruins? Munch, Munch. He was eating something while he was investigating the ruins. In quite a hurry, he was snacking and researching at the same time. What did Gordon do after that? Much, much. He was moving around strangely near the entrance. Acting so weird, the Pokemon up in the tree, it started laughing at him. But it wasn't just Munchlax and Chris that were watching the Pokemon. Professor, what him too. What happened after that? Much, much. The next thing he knew, Gordon was gone. Ask about that other Pokemon. It's got to be a, hey. the Perison, right? Right, much Lex. You said that there was a Pokemon watching Gordon from up in the tree. What kind of Pokemon was it? Lex. You don't know because you've never seen that kind of Pokemon before? Where'd it go? Did it disappeared down the path to the left? It was better to hear what each Pokemon has to say. Yeah, alright, it was the Persimmon. Tim. Tim. What? Bolt of Oh wait. Oh no, never mind. Sorry. I thought I was gonna have a bolt of brilliance. Guess it was just a false alarm. Sorry. That's okay. Well, Professor Gordon. Did you see a human here with a slowpoke? You saw it. Where is Pikachu? Oh, he's all the way over there, look. <laughs> what the fuck? So a human doing something in front of the ruins? Are like you up in a tree? What was he doing? The human. 
He was trying to lift Slowpoke up in front of the door. The Slowpoke was too heavy to lift, so the human started climbing up the tree instead. And also says he was laughing his, his head off watching him. That's to climb the tree? What in the world was he up to? Very curious about what the person told us. You mean of Gordon climbing the tree before he entered the ruins? He must have had a reason. And also said also said the professor tried to lift us up Slowpoke, right? Remember the relief on the door also dispatched someone by holding up a Pokemon. Do you think there's Something on top of the door? Mm, sure sounds possible. Have a look up there. All right then. Just a little climb, no problem. Are we gonna do this exact climb again? Oh no, hey, 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 he skipped it. Anything up there? Let me catch my breath first. That's no way to treat a Pokemon. This tile has the same design as the one down there. Oh, interesting. Okay. Mm -hmm. What did you see on top of the door? There's a tile. There's a tile with the same design on it. On the ground floor. Same design. Yeah, let's think we'll back over what we know. I mean, come on, we know. You stand on that one, I stand on this one. Go and climb the tree before entering the ruins. Yeah, it must be opening the door. Right. So there's got to be some kind of key or switch to open it. You've seen some fits the description? Alright. Um. The tower with a unique design. Switch to open the door. Right. I think that's pretty likely. Okay. Then we'll try stepping on it. That's something. That was something it sank down a bit when we pressed on it. Hmm. It's definitely a switch. Then, but the door still didn't budge. There must be some other way to open it. Try to deduce how, Tim. Well, I know how, but okay, let's do it. Let's deduce. Let's deduce this sucker. Show him what we're made of. Figure out how to open the door. Yeah, you up there. Oh. There are two switches with the same design. One above the door and one below the door. Maybe the door will open if we press them both. So you think Gordon climbed the tree, pressed the switch above the door. Yeah. And then he had the Pokemon press the bar below. Hmm. Then maybe what we gotta do is press both switches at once. Let's try that. Sure. Let's try it out. Hmm. Right, let's pull both switches at once. You press the one down here, Tim. I'll get the one up top. Thanks, Pikachu. Hmm, I know I volunteered. Climbing trees is actually pretty tough. <sighs> Gotta climb up again. Okay, Pikachu. You press that one. Yep. Leave it to me. Yeah, he had to do a little hop. He wasn't heavy enough. Yes. Hmm. All right, now we're here inside. Right, let's go find the professor. Sure. And then there might be an Earth ring in here too. Just gotta keep an eye out. This is what the ruins like. Oh my god, they're pretty like actually incredible. Pretty cool. Why is it so cold? Yeah, it's freezing in here too. What's going on? Almost like a big empty space with cold stone everywhere. Outside of the sun. I know it's snowing outside, but it still feels really unnatural. Snow outside, ice inside, but there's a condition. Do you think the professor's alright? After two whole days in here? Hope so, should probably hurry. It's just like frozen solid somewhere. I'm not I'm not sure we'll find him here. Let's go in. Go ahead. Thanks, Tim. Alright, let's go find Gordon. Alright, come on, Pika. We got shit to do. Hmm. 
Hmm. Looks like there are different ways to go. Where do you think the professor went? I don't know. Let's try this way first. Yeah, this is be frozen. Looks a little different from the others. Oh, it's definitely got a strange shape. You're supposed to do in here. I mean, it's a Pokemon. But, okay. Well, It's a wall of ice. Looks like I can't go any further this way. Yeah, there's no way we get through all this thick. You can barely just see through to the other side. Looks like a fire behind it. Of some sort. Really, let me take a look. Yeah, there's definitely something there. I see something. like a suspicious shadow I'm curious to know what it is but we should look into it later the shadow I guess it could be the air ring, but it looks like fire to me it's all wavy and wiggly well I guess a chat I guess fire wouldn't cast a shadow oh that's right it wouldn't like it itself is light so Oh my god. Wait, what? <laughs> huh? This professor's part of the slowpoke. Slow, slowpoke. Easy to this slowpoke. Where's your partner? Slow, slow. Before Mr. Go was, was back and now he's disappeared. Calls Mr. Gordon Mr. Go, huh? That's cute. Hey, Tim. Looks like his feet are frozen. He's stuck. Yeah, can't sleep him like this. What can we do to help? Hmm. Yeah, it's Rachel for help. Try pulling him out together. Sounds like a plan. This is Professor Gordon's slowpoke, right? Yeah, I think so. He's wearing that stupid hat. Uh, but why is he frozen? You gotta help him quick. Won't be easy. That's solid. Snow. Oh, Don't snow. worry, we'll pull you free. Three, two. Snow. 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 Almost there. No. Oh, we did it. Oh. Tim's dead. He fucking died. He's he's it's over for him. A little help here. Huh? Whoa. <laughs> Not funny, Rachel. Come on, quit playing around. Wait, huh? Uh oh. Uh oh. Isn't this Slowpoke's tail? Hey, are you okay? What the fuck? Slow. They grow back. I see. Your tail really grows back fast. Slowpo, slowpo. I can keep this? Don't mind if I do. Slowpo. Why would we keep it? Oh, it's so slow gross. Slow. Looks like we managed to free him. Thank goodness. He says thanks for rescuing him. We're really glad we could help. But you're heavier than you look. Did I give you his tail just now, Pikachu? Yeah. Don't you know Slope Hotel is good eats? You can't help but smile when you sink your teeth into one. You, you don't say. How'd you end up frozen anyway? Slow? It happens so suddenly that you're not sure. What about your partner Gordon? Where is he? Slow. Uh, you were asleep until just now. So you don't know. Wish I was that carefree. Well, that's too bad. Then you do, then do, what do you remember? Sorry, I, let me try one again. Then you, what do you remember? I still fucked it up. Slowpoke, can you tell us anything at all? Slow, slow. Hey. Just to confirm, you're going to partner, right? Slow, slow, slow. This is that thought. So, we came here to help you with Gorn's research. You bring it along. His research trips. Slow, slow. Trying to sort of things you help the professor. Slow. 
So you're good at spraying water, eh? Hmm. How helpful to one. I don't know. He'd be super useful here if he knew Scold. Slow, slow. Ah, I see. Gordon brings you along in case you need to bring the canteen. Good choice. That also seems disgusting. I don't know. Drinking water out of a Pokemon's like water gun or something kind of sounds kind of gross. Hmm. Can you tell what happened when you got frozen? Slow. Apparently, he's so sudden. He is already frozen by the time he noticed anything was wrong. What was the professor up to when you got frozen? So... He says that Gordon has, him, has gone off somewhere. And Slowpoke tried to follow when that's when he got frozen. Slow, slow. Then he sat down here wondering what to do until he fell asleep. It's hard to believe he managed to sleep for two days in a place that's cold. was going with you when you entered the ruin so okay so they were together at this point when did the professor get separated oh slowpoke right after he reached this room Owen told slowpoke to use his water to wash the dust off the mural slowpoke did that and then suddenly noticed something and rushed out of the room oh slow slow uh, a bit later he had to cool out of surprise in that room Ah, Jesus Christ. And then you rumble and rock your sound. Slowpoke tried to hurry and catch him. So he got frozen. And right after he got frozen, he heard the rumble again. So, you heard that rumbling sound twice, eh, Slowpoke? Hmm. Do you have any idea what Gordon had noticed? So, no dice, huh? The murals in this room are really big. Yeah, I bet there's a clue hidden somewhere in these murals. <laughs> Thanks for all the info, Slowpoke. You've been a huge help. So, that conversation just now sounded like a bunch of peekers and slow slows to me. So they talked for a pretty long time. What are they talking about? Could you just stand them, Tim? Well, no, of course not. I can't stand them. Alright then, I'm just gonna stay here for a while. Look at Slipper. I want to at least make sure he's okay. He got stuck. Stuck in that ice for two days, after all. Got it. In that case, let's go back to our investigation. According to Slowpoke, Gordon noticed something when he looked at those murals. Murals that hold the key to finding the professor's whereabouts. Better go take a close look at them. Okay, well, it's. Whoa! It's a meteor, dude. Meteor. Hmm, did the Pokemon try to tell us something? Yeah, Minio says he wants to go back home. Where is home? He says Mars. Ligon 7. Hmm, Minio live up in the ozone layer. They fall down to the ground when their shells get too heavy. Well, that's high up. If we help get rid of it, rid of its shell, do you think you could... Go back up there. I wonder if we can find a Pokemon path enough to break its shell. All right, we'll think about that. Okay, so Berry he offers up Berry. This one offers up a Blueberry. They offer it to whatever that is. I can't really see. So these murals, these murals and professors looking at. They both depict Persimmon. Yeah, but how do we know which of these two murals was actually looking at? Maybe it looked at both of them. Either way, we have to give them each a thorough inspection. See, so now my my brain would tell me to go and get these two berries, right? Because we're gonna need them. So Gordon knows something when he's looking at these murals. Right, like, I would go get these berries. However, I don't think the game's gonna let us do that. <laughs> so sorry, I keep yawning. Can't seem to stop. Okay, where should we look first? 
Well, the, the berry. That seems to be the most prominent thing to me. The persimmon's pose is holding a berry. You're right. It's a yellow berry. I would have said green, but sure. I guess, yeah. No, sure. Yeah, yeah. Okay, sure. I... I agree. Look at his face, it seems happy. Looks like my face after it was eating something sweet. Okay. Mm -hmm. Anything else is here? Well, let's investigate the other one. Does anyone know something in the minerals? Yeah, okay, let's have a look. Okay, where should we look first? Well, again, this one has some sort of blueberry. The pose is holding a berry. You're right, this is a blueberry. The other one had a yellow berry. This one's got a blue one. Oh, the cinnamon has, has a strained expression. Yeah, like he had something sour. Oh, okay, okay. A sour berry and a sweet berry. Yep, no way to interpret that face. If we ask this bureau. Yeah, I think we finished here. Let's go investigate somewhere else. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh it's cold in here, but pretty soon we could have formed up naturally. Seems kind of suspicious. It does. We need to break that open as well, I guess. Lots of things to crack open here. Alright, let's have a little look in here. Hmm, there's something on the floor. It's a brand new handkerchief. Huh? Trevor? Gordon? That's a Gordon's name and boy do it. So it's Gordon's handkerchief, eh? Yeah, okay, we're gonna give this. Yeah, we, we can't deduce yet. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, you spot where snow's piled up by this. Oh. There's a hole in the ceiling. Must have blown in from there. You're right. No wonder it's so cold. Wait, does that mean we could have gone in through the ceiling? Don't look at me. I didn't see it when I was up there. Besides, it would have been really tough to get down through that hole safely. True. Looks like we brought a rope or anything. So these be these guys look like they're... They should be holding berries or something. The Statue of Persimmon. Yeah, what a weird pose. Almost like he's offering something. Yeah, now you mentioned it. It is strange. I mean to it. Also, the statue has a slight scent to it. Really? I don't smell anything. That's because Pokemon are more sensitive to smell. The smell is spicy. Just sniffing it makes my eyes sting. Okay. Where's the floor? It's like walking around. Some seem to be heading towards the wall, and others seem to be leaving towards the room. Hmm. Gordon must have gone in and out of this room several times. There's so many footprints all over the place. I can't tell which way the professor went. The, it's a persimmon statue. There's super sour smell coming from it. Alright, so we need that blue, red, and yellow uh, thing, I'm guessing. There's a sweet smell coming from it. Okay, okay. There's a bronzer over there. Oh, shit. There's a sweat lewd. It's cold. Are they frozen? It's too cold to walk home. Here, can we give the clothing? Wow. Wow. Alright, looks much better now. You're most worried, you should go home. Wow. Alright. Wow. Wow. Oh, we found both with Loon. 
Want to head back now? Make sure they made it home and safe, Dad. Um, sure. Let's do it, and we'll try and pick up a berry while we're out there. Looks like both Walloon are back safely. Who's Walloon? It's thank you for delivering the leaf clothes. You're very welcome. Walloon, Walloon. Dad, you both look okay. Now, don't go worrying the Lenavani so much, alright? Alright, sick, we did that. Alright, so we want one of these red ones, I think. These are the spicy boys, right? Mm -hmm. I can't take one. Of course I can't take one. Yeah, okay, that's pretty much what I figured it would let us take one. Is this one yellow? Oh, looks yellow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, so there's no... There's no deductive reasoning that we would have to collect one of them, even though I'm pretty sure we have to come out and collect them. Whoops. I didn't press that. <laughs> well, I guess I must have, but... Oh, okay, we need berries, I think. To put on the statues and that'll open this door. Ahead of us. This bronzong is untalkable. Hello! Hmm, this wall looks different from the others. There's a great relief, I just slash cover card into it. What do you mean to me? Hey Tim, look at the floor. Not bad. Footprints. They look like human footprints from the size I guess they were made by an adult male. Mm, you're right. Something weird about these footprints. I'll say. The tip is the last footprint is cut off by the wall. Okay, so we definitely know he's in behind this wall. But the wall made it off of the footprints we're left here. That doesn't seem possible. Though, does it? What could have happened here? Alright, can we did yeah, can we begin deducing this now? Hmm. Went to the toilet. <laughs> that's, that's the one, he went to the toilet, of course. Where's the path beyond the wall? Oh. He just lasted the relief could Backed off the path of the professor. Oh, you're going through. Bucked off. Sorry, not backed off. That does seem possible to you. Hmm, the edge of the ruins was closed shut, even though Gordon opened it. It's possible that the relief also was the entrance. Also closed shut after Gordon walked through it. If that's the case, maybe there's another mechanism that'll move it through itself. Yeah, we gotta just figure out what it is. Well, I mean, we, I feel like we already know what it is. Oh, maybe we can already deduce this then. I mean, to investigate what kind of mechanism controls the age slash as well. How do we do that? The unique design on the switches operated the entrance. So the same design used to be inside the rooms too. Not necessarily. We have no reason to think that the same type of mechanism is being used here. But that doesn't mean there ain't any visual clues here. Visual clues, huh? But now let's look around. Find the ruins or anything that seems unusual. We can talk about the mechanism afterward. Hmm. Did you figure out we get past the age blast? I think I think it's this one. That is actually hold berries. Oh. It's actually hold the berries. Do it both of the statues and the murals to pick the penicillin. Makes me think they're both connected to the mechanism. And the murals are holding berries, but cinnamon. Hmm. So we need to make the statues and murals. Hmm. I get what you're saying. We could probably pull that off by placing berries on the sta statues. Look, they're perfectly po poised to be holding berries too. It's just one problem though. Yeah, each mural depicts a different berry. Exactly. 
probably means that we need to give each three of these statues a different berry. What berry are we supposed to give to the statue? Well, we are, I feel like I agree with that too. What well, berry should be placed on the statue to the left? I think only natural to assume that the leftmost mural, the statue corresponds to each other. And the mural depicts the yellow berry. Happy to pursue them. I bet the expression is a clue about the flavor. Hmm, could be smiling or something sweet. Exactly what I was thinking. We need to place a sweet yellow berry on the statue. Okay, let's go find a berry that ticks the boxes. I don't think these are all going to be the exact same. Hmm. Berry should be placed in the middle statue. We examine the middle of the mural because it was frozen over. We've got to figure out what was about the first ice first. Is anything we get rid of? Ice that trick. True. In that case, we should get some help from a Pokemon. Yeah, there's lots of Pokemon outside the ruins. Right, let's go ask see if they can help. Um, well, we do have Fireboy, right? Oh. Sure. Since we're not apparently smart enough to do anything without any form of evidence, um, I guess we'll uh, have to do that in order. We get we get further into the ruins. We have to gather berries depicted in the murals. Right, we need a sour berry. A uh, blue one is a sweet berry. And the yellow. The colors the colors uh we can see is so this part is easy, but what about the flavors? Hmm, I don't know about every berry. Tastes like. So let's try them all. You eat them? That's the fastest way, so you get the info we need, right? I guess it's not make yourself sick, okay? Don't worry, we love berries. Alright, Tim. Let's got a plan. Let's go get those berries. Let's go get them in my belly. Because I'm uh, hungry. So this is obviously a spicy. Uh, a spicy red one. Um, right, okay. Look, oh, there's a new berry here too. We can't talk to him though. Um, next time, we'll find some berries. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying the series of Detective Pikachu so far. I'm certainly enjoying it. It's a very cute game. Uh, I wish I could... Um, get these berries ahead of time and shit, but I guess it was um, designed to be a bit more linear of an aspect and not let you have full reign. Um, I guess it was probably designed for children, and um, perhaps I'm just getting frustrated over it because of that. But I am enjoying it, it's a very cute game. I hope you guys are enjoying it too, we're going to keep playing this one all the way through, so thank you so much, and I'll see you all next time for some berry hunting. Bye bye.